Japan is a land of high-tech inventions. But the Japanese still manage to inject a touch of history into their busy modern lives. A practice that is evident in one of Japan's recruitment firms who actively engage their employees to urban farming by exposing them to both modern and traditional farming methods right inside their own office. I'm Sean Yao and this is Business Matters, where doing good is good business. When you think about developed countries in the Asia-Pacific region, one stands out as an emerging global superpower, if they're not already. And that's, of course, Japan. Among the first world countries, it is ranked as the ninth worldwide in terms of human development. This does not come as a surprise. Tokyo is the heart of the country's business hub. And it is packed with individuals as vibrant as its industries, proof that the development of any society starts with its people. The country is known worldwide for its contributions in technological advancement, but still managing to keep their oldest traditions alive. ということで農業の興味ある方々の人材の流動化というのもトレンドになりつつありますし農業だけではなく地域の資源といった農業や食観光といったものの掘り起こしとそれに伴う地域活性化というのもトレンドになりつつありパスナグループでは多くの自治体
The greens covering the exterior of the building reduces the company's carbon emissions by about 7 to 8 tons per year. And the green architectural design allows enough light into the offices, reducing their electricity usage down by 70%. As for the cultivation of the indoor plants that are not touched by natural light, they conserve energy by using LED and LCD backlighting. The success of the project has been apparent in the performance of its employees who directly benefit from it one way or another. Apart from the encouragement they get to follow a healthy diet and to care for their surroundings, the green spaces give its employees a more relaxed environment that is conducive for work and making them more productive. え、the company's contribution in regional revitalization and development is devoted to creating employment and building an environment in which people can live fruitfully. Their aim is to breathe life into Japan and to proactively broaden their support to other eager communities as well. These are seemingly simple efforts, but it provides a great paradigm for other companies to follow. From this initiative, the artist employee came about, hiring employees whose main job was to draw and paint. The company currently employs 20 mentally challenged workers who come to work just to create art. Tokyo's leading company is famous for promoting agriculture and workspaces, but they have been working on other equally important projects as well. まずあの、パソナグループは、あの、社会貢献活動を非常にこう積極的にやってる会社でして、ま、働く女性を応援する。働くシニアの方を応援する。その中で、え、障害のある方も応援してきましょうっていう活動を昔から創業の時から40年前
Mamoru Morita is one of the beneficiaries of the program, and his improvement through the years has been evident through both his disposition and his masterpieces. で、these artwork are then exhibited around the Pasona main office and around Tokyo as part of their advocacy to show as many people as possible that people with disabilities have great talents too. These employees may all fall under those that are developmentally challenged, but not all are the same. Each employee has their own unique character, and what better way to showcase that than through their art? この20名のアーティストの中で、初めから絵を描いたわけではなくて、最初はパソコンの仕事をしてました。が、最初はものづくりをしてました。っていう社員がいました。で、そこから実は絵が好きだ。え、さ、絵に才能があるということを我々が気
endowed with a long history of ceramic culture and tradition dating as far back as 28,000 BC. The preservation of this deep and rich culture has been the main project of the Aichi Prefecture's government. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
The park attracts at least 3,000 visitors a month. The large number of tourists gives significant boost to the livelihood of the community. Another popular spot in Gamagori City is the Laguna 10 Bosch Amusement Complex. This water park attracts 3 million visitors annually, making it one of the busiest establishments in the prefecture. This in turn creates lots of jobs for the locals in order to accommodate the large volume of tourists. Fishermen in the Kiso River in Aichi Prefecture also benefit from local government's tourism program. Aside from reaping the benefits of the river's rich bounty, the fishermen earn extra by showcasing to tourists the ukai or traditional way of cormorant fishing. Ukai is a 1,300-year-old traditional fishing technique using tethered sea cormorants to catch ayu or sweet fish. Cruising slowly down the Kiso River, the fishermen attract the ayu through the use of kagaribi, or fire hanging from a steel basket meticulously placed in front of the boat. The lead fisherman, or usho, handles 5 to 12 cormorants tethered at the neck with straw ropes. The fish are then scooped up by the diving birds throughout the cruise, and the usho then pulls the cormorants in, and the larger fish are disgorged from the birds' beaks. Ukai is usually done at night from long, flat-bottomed wooden boats. This traditional way of fishing is also known as a summer sport of Japanese feudal lords. Traditional culture is only one side of Japan. Though now considered as one of the world's economic powers, the Japanese still make it a point to infuse the values and traditions of their rich cultural past. Traditions that help shape their now fascinating old meets new cultural landscape. ま、One season has passed and it has been a blast sharing with you inspiring stories of people and communities whose lives have changed for the better. For comments and suggestions, do follow us on Facebook, that's Business Matters PH, or on our website at www.businessmatters.com.ph. Again, I'm Sean Yao and this is Business Matters, where doing good is good business. See you all real soon.